In this tutorial, we will look at how to make some basic edits to your Camtasia Rev video project. After customizing the look and layout in Camtasia Rev, click the Edit in Camtasia button. This opens the Camtasia Editor, and instead of dropping a bunch of media clips on individual tracks, Camtasia packages your recorded streams, like the screen, camera, and audio, into Rev Media on the timeline. This can help simplify and speed up the editing process. Let's look at a few basic edits. The first edit I like to do is trim the silence that is usually present at the start of the video. Click the plus button to zoom in on the timeline to help see the section to trim. I'll use the handles on the playhead to drag and make a selection. And the audio waveform will help guide me where I want to stop. With the selection made, click the scissors icon to cut that part, and everything on the timeline will slide left. So right now, the entire video is set to this one look and layout, but I'd like to make a change and either hide my camera for part of the video or change the position of the camera and screen videos. To do this, I'll position the playhead where I'd like to make the change. With the Rev Media selected, I'll click the split icon. The timeline now has two separate groups of Rev Media, and each has its own edit icon. I'll click the second Edit Rev Media icon, and it opens just this section in Rev. Here I can make any changes I want to the look, layout, background, and more for this section of my video. For example, I could click the Layout tab and choose a different camera in screen view. Or if I wanted to hide my camera at this point in the video, I could choose one of the screen focus layouts, which is what I'll do for this example. I'll also select the background tab and choose a different color or gradient to use. Click Save and we head back to the editor, where you'll see this group of Rev Media has been updated. Let's play this back to see what it looks like. Let's add a transition to make this look a little smoother. From the Transitions menu, you can select from several different types of transitions, or search for a name. I'll just type in Fade. I'll drag this basic Fade transition to the timeline and place it between the two Rev Media clips. Now when it's played back, it's a much smoother transition from one media to the next. There's one more thing I'd like to show you that I think helps draw viewers' eyes to important parts of the screen, and that's annotations. The annotations menu is separated into sub-tabs across the top. I encourage you to explore them all, but one of my favorites is the sketch motion callouts, which will draw on the screen. For example, at this point in the video, I'm going to drag this rectangle callout and add it to the timeline. Notice that it's placed on a new track because it is layered on top of the Rev Media. I can resize and reposition it on the canvas and even change the color, line thickness, and draw time here in the Properties panel. Let's play it back to see what it looks like. If it's on the screen too long or not long enough, hover over the end of the callout and drag to adjust how long it's visible on the screen. All right, looks good. Now I could add more annotations or continue editing the video further, but I think this video is good enough and I'm ready to share it. I'll click the Export button and select the Local File option. This will export an MP4 video that I can then share with anyone or to any cloud service I want. There is so much more editing that you can do in Camtasia to make your videos look polished and professional. For example, explore the Camtasia assets and add a customized title to the video. Or if you want even more control over video customizations, you can right-click the Rev Media on the timeline and select Unpack Rev Media. This separates the media onto individual tracks so you can select and edit them with animations, cursor effects, dynamic captions, and so much more. Be sure to check out additional Camtasia tutorials to learn more.